A beautiful woman who is married with kids is in love with another married man who does not have kids. Any married woman that leaves her husband for you will leave you for another man. You cannot be in love with two men. When you say you are in love with two men, it simply means you are confused. Any married man that leaves his wife for another married woman, he will still use you and he will still dump you. Please, when you take this marital vow, keep it. If you know you're not ready to marry, come and remain single. We have WhatsApp group. You cannot be married and be acting like a prostitute. It's abominable. You can't be a married man and be dating a married man. They swear for you. You said, as a married woman, if you know your husband is not giving it to you the way you want it, you should teach him, right? Yes. You want to teach Nigerian man. You just say, you, say, you just classify, you say, you be a shell. Where you go learn and from? Many side chicks do not understand this because these men do not stay with them for a long time. They rent you an apartment, come and visit, come and go. You get to see the better part of them. Live with that man for four months. He will knock you two by two on your neck. Welcome to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's your number one certified relationship therapist. If you're not sitting in front of your screen right now, do that. It's channel 189 only on Pop Central. So we're going to be starting the show with a very, very wonderful music. You know, I've repented. No more bass bulls. I am now a Jesus baby. Thank you so much. That music is from Red Boy. You can go stream it. It's called Jesus Baby. So as a Jesus Baby, we need to start with prayers. So today we have a very, very interesting topic I'm going to be reading for you guys. Man, this topic, you will have bad You will have bad If you're not sitting in front, tell your neighbor not to distract you. That is time for moments with blessing CEO. So I'm quickly going to read up the story for you guys. Um, the story goes like this. She said, blessing CEO. Yes, is the way you guys actually call me. Is it possible to be in love with two men? I am married to a man. Okay, no, she said, is it possible to be in love with two men? I am a married woman with three kids and I am cheating. Not for anything or money, but I just see myself in love with another man. The breaking point is the fact that the man is married too. <laughs> we need to play that a bit to shake her. I'm about to release, I'm about to release some powers. I will release some powers. <laughs> married woman is cheating with a married man. Kilo Shale. Let's finish the story. She said the breaking point is the fact that I'm also married too, but he does not have a child yet. He wants us to run away to South Africa and start a new life. Oh, she. But I am scared. My kids are still young. But I'm in love with this married man. Blessing see you. Is it normal? Is it a cost? Are there any consequences? Please help me. I don't mind coming to your office. <laughs> Let me start by doing this way. I got the powers. I got the powers. I'm about to release the powers. <laughs> It's not actually funny. I'm actually using this to calm down my tension. That's the truth. Now, let me quickly summarize the story for those of you who do not understand. 
A beautiful woman who is married with kids is in love with another married man who does not have kids. She's married to her husband. She says she's in love with her husband and she's in love with another married man. The married man does not have kids is telling her, let them elope together to South Africa and start up a new life. So she's saying uh, the consequences, what should she do? She's seeking for her advice. So as a certified relationship therapist, I'm going to break it down before we open up the phone lines. First of all, if you're a woman and you're watching me, I want you to look straight into my eye. You can see that I'm looking very beautiful. You cannot be in marriage. We talked about this the last time. And be in love with somebody else. Like, you can't be a married woman and be dating a married woman. What kind of scene is that? It doesn't make any sense. You said you're not cheating for money. You're not lacking. So why are you there? I understand that sometimes we could fall out of love in marriage, but this is kind of weird that you're willing to let your children go and go and start up a life with another married man. Let me shock you. You know, this world is a merry-go-round. It's a very funny place. Any married woman that leaves her husband for you will leave you for another man. Any married man that leaves his wife for another married woman, he will still use you and he will still dump you. Now, when we date people, if we are smart, if we are supposed to drop emotions aside, that is how me, I grade men and their character characteristics. There are some certain things you do to your wife, whether you're married or your girlfriend, I just rate you zero. If you can treat her that way, you can always treat anybody that way. So if this man can wake up one day just because he saw a married woman that he's sleeping with, because I don't see anything special about you apart from sex. He now wants you to leave your children and elope with him to South Africa. I don't understand. What happened to all the single girls? That is the biggest height of irresponsibility. And the truth about it is you cannot be in love with two men. When you say you are in love with two men, it simply means you are confused. You are married and you're dating another married man. That is total confusion and stupidity. That's the truth. So if I were to be you, I think it's time to retrace your step. It is only an irresponsible man that would tell a woman to leave her husband's house and fly with him to South Africa. Does your Kwekus have diamond? I'm asking you. So for me, it's a no-no. It's a no-no. Please retrace. In as much as the story is not so full, you know, when they tell us stories like this, they give us the fairy fairy. But you can as well come to my office right here in Lagos. We have an office for therapy. You can walk in and give us the full story because I need, I need to know how you fell in love with this married man because the detail was not there. What led to the emotion to the point that you want to follow him and travel and leave your children? So those things were not aligned. But from what you have told me, it's very obvious that you are falling out of love with your husband. Because for you to be thinking of following a married man to travel, like... Not be jujubi that. And do you know what hurts me the most in most of these cases? When women like this do these things, you people will now make all the men generalize us. They are still calling all of us Asha. Every woman is a cheat. Any man you born for now want to go and do DNA. It's because of all of you. Can we stop this madness? Because the only thing I could tell you you are benefiting from that relationship is sex. Bola. It will lead you to your early grave. Please desist from such acts. It's abominable. You can't be a married man and be dating a married man. They swear for you. If you were, if you were even a single person, I'd say, okay, fine. A married woman dating a married man. Or do you want to have child for the married man? This is how a lot of you women complicate your life. Very soon now, you start sleeping with this married man. Now, get pregnant and come and hang it on your husband's neck. As of as DNA. So about their DNA. Please, no, it's a no for me. The, what, you ask me, what are the consequences? The consequences is that you will live in regret for the rest of your life. The consequences is that you will never have peace of mind. The consequences are so much. 
In my language, Nibo language, we say, Jido ofono ogu, do sa kagocha. Keep your hands clean. So that anything that happens, it's natural. But there's some kind of life that you'll be living. You'll be living in fear. How, it's just nobody's seen what I drew. Nobody's man why they sleep with. Do sa kagocha. Women, why are we now the wayward one? Initially, it was men that was doing all this pium, pium, pium. Women, what happened? Is it our husbands and our boyfriend that has influenced us? Because this is becoming embarrassing for a married woman to say she's in love with another married man. For me, it's unknown. I'm going to say, let it stop. Stop it. That married man does not have anything to lose. You have a lot to lose. Guess what? If that relationship goes south or your husband find out, he will throw you out. But that man, his wife will still cry and still stay in the marriage. So the point is, as a woman, you are the receiving end. So you need to use your number 32. So the phone lines are open right on your screen. And please, when you're calling and you want to contribute your opinion, turn down the volume of your TV, please, so that I can hear you. The phone number is right on your television. It's channel 189 Pop Central. We are still talking about the married woman who cheated. You know, there are some stories I hear sometimes and I'm actually dumbfounded. Like, it's weird to me. Like, did you not date? What is it with this other married man that you cannot find in your husband? Like, I don't understand it. Is it the fantasy? Is it the, I don't know. Is it the illusion? Because I don't see any future. I don't, I don't even see a man to be responsible, wanting to take another man's wife with children. What happened to we single ladies? Eh? What happened to the single ladies out there? Married women, please, now it's becoming an embarrassment to all of us. Please, when you take this marital vow, keep it. If you know you're not ready to marry, come and remain single. We have WhatsApp group. You come and join our WhatsApp group of being single. You cannot be married and be acting like a prostitute. The real meaning of marriage simply means commitment. I want to stay here. I want to give it my best. I want to focus. I want to, I want to bring out the best in each other. What will you tell your children when you grow? What kind of advice do you give to your children? Tell me. So the lines are open right on your screen. Feel free to call. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume on your TV so that I can hear you. Hello? Do we have a caller? So the lines are open right on your screen. Feel free to call. Please turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Do we have a caller? Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Have we lost the caller? Hello, sir. Okay, I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. We are still talking about the married woman. She says she's in love with two men. She's in love with her husband and she's in love with another married man. That's the pure definition of confusion. So at this stage, she wants us to contribute. She wants to understand the consequences. The consequences is that Amadio will come for you. That is the consequences. You can't be sleeping with two men at the same time. You're hurting your husband and you're hurting another woman. Like, who, who, why are you a witch? You're breaking your home and you're breaking another woman's home. It doesn't make any sense. And you said that this married man does not have children. We don't even know what him and his wife have been going through to have children. We have a caller. Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, what's your name and where are you calling from, ma'am? Um, this is Mrs. Tani calling you from Abuja. Okay, ma'am. You want to contribute anything to the show? Go ahead, please. Hello, ma'am. Um, I am watching you like as in, it is, it is very wrong. Married woman, say, falling in love with a woman. Something prompted the relationship initially. 
that if anything should go wrong, we not sit on the round table and sort it than going out. Whatever you do, you do women, it's not it's no longer as women. It's now us as mother and as wife. Because there's nothing to do. I was telling them um, some friends. It should be like three days back. Someone was, I mean, a married woman started dating, I mean, having extra money. Yeah, yeah. I told them, about I said, you know what? Then it's not about this. Then extra marital children's destiny and the husband as well. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Whatever that woman would affect everyone close to her. Affect everyone close to her, their destiny. It's not all about her. Women should think they decide to go out there. I don't know if she's from or out of that relationship or that marriage. Fine. But not be in that marriage and destroy that man and the children too. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. The woman was still on the same track with us. She said it was wrong for, uh, it is actually wrong for a married woman to be sleeping around. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. Please, when you're calling, try to turn down the volume of your television and be a bit audible so that I can hear you. The number is right on your screen. You can call. We are still talking about the married woman who is in love with a married man. So she's asking us, is it possible for you to be in love with two people at the same time? We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you, ma'am. Go ahead. What's your Hello? name and where are you calling from? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. I think we lost that caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. You could use the number on the screen. It's still Moments with Blessing CEO, channel 189, only on DSTV. We have another caller. Hello? 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 Good evening. Hello. Good evening. I can hear you. Yeah, good evening. Go ahead. Hello. Turn on the volume of your TV. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. I assume that we're supposed to be used to this by now. Because if you do not turn down the volume of your TV, I will not be able to hear you. You're going to be echoing. So turn down the volume of your TV if you want to talk to us. The number is right on your screen. We're talking about a married woman who is in love with a married man. She's confused. The married man is saying, let him in loop. Hello. Do you have a call up? Hello? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm good. My name is Mrs. Uzo calling from Airborne State. Airborne State. What do you have to contribute to the yeah. show, darling? I have a contribution to make. And what we are saying. Go ahead. You look good today. You said what? Please, ma'am. Um, in that situation, I think that woman is. Would I say she she has something wrong with her, or she don't know the culture? of her land or general culture of people. Because a normal woman being in her right sense is married and dating a married man is totally wrong. Very, very wrong. Either she has some something in her cupboard 
or up to something. Because church has um, um, a spiritual something backing it up. So mm-hmm. when she, she has contaminated, contaminated herself, that means her children is in trouble. Mm. Even the future of her kids, because the the cost from the thing she is doing, married man, following the children. Mm. So I didn't think that in the man that is doing it, she could have been better, but she uses that same hand to get food for her children. It is totally wrong. It's very, very wrong. All right, thank she you. Should so and ask God for forgiveness. Thank ask you so much for forgiveness. Call. And God ask bless you. for forgiveness. Right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you. The beautiful woman also made the same point that is very, very wrong. Now, everybody is saying that it is wrong. We know that it is wrong for you to be in marriage and be sleeping with another man. The question is, what's the way forward? We've judged the woman. We know that what she's doing is wrong. She even knows that what she's doing is wrong. And that's the reason why she's saying, are there any consequences? Now, she has done something wrong. How does she make it right? For me, the way to make it right is to cut all the ties that connect you and that man. Because to the best of my knowledge, there is nothing connecting you and that man apart from sexual intercourse. You know, when a woman starts getting good sex from a man, she feels that she's in love. You're not in love. You're just digmatized. Yes. Once they don't use prick, oh, you go be like saying a jazz, not be jazz. In English language, you call it digmatization. So when a woman is digmatized, you're not confused. Hmm? You have used arm and br- block your brain. Go home and focus on your family, I beg, and leave man. After all, when you decide to marry, you said to yourself, I want to settle down. If there is something you feel your husband is not doing well, teach him. Marriage is about teaching one another. If there's a new style of Abito Shaker you want, national anthem, um, kabdabush kabash, if there's any power that you want him to show you in bed, you tell him. He would give you the skills. You don't need to go outside. That's the problem with us. We are looking for something in different people. But the meaning of marriage simply means, I want to bring out this thing in you. I want to teach you. Marriage helps you unlearn and relearn. If you are not ready, come outside now eh? and come and stay with us that are single. Eh? It, you, I don't get it. You are married and your you eyes doing pium, 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 pium. Eh? That's the truth. Or does prostitution run in your vein? This is not a matter of being judgmental. This is a matter of being wrong. If you were even dating a single guy, it would have been understandable. How can a married woman be dating a married man? And you said in your story, you are not dating him for money. It's not like your husband is lacking. So what is the essence if not sex? I'm asking. A lot of women need to understand that this thing called self-control is very, very underrated. And as a woman, when you don't have it, when the Bible, who did you think God called a virtuous woman? Who did you think God called? A virtuous woman is that woman that has principle, boundary, control. That's the meaning of being a virtuous woman. Be able to say no. Not because you did not see any other beautiful things. See, former day ago, ago, beautiful ones are not yet born. You never see prick. You're going to see prick, you go run. How many you want to enter? But a principled woman will say, no, I want to give this my best. Even if your husband's bola is like this, it will look big to you. It's in the mind. Could we channel our mind? Because, and that is the reason why I used to like the old days. In the olden days, if you did this kind of thing, Amadio would just strike you. Or they would go and burn you alive. Now, everybody have run to Jesus. Because you know that it's on the last day that Jesus will crucify. Jesus, every time Jesus is shouting, forgive 70 times, 7 times. That's why all of you are committing sin. You want to complete the 70 times, 7 times. But in those days, they would have burnt you alive now. Because what you're doing is an abomination. Oh, alo, if you're an evil woman. We have an alo. Alo simply means it's an abominable act. So to me, I frown at it, married woman, sleeping around with married man. Which kind of occultic listen is that? The number to call is still right on your screen if you want to contribute. Feel free to call the number, but please turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling so that we can hear you. Okay, 
still talking about the married woman, if you're just sitting in front of your television when you're talking about a married woman who is in love with a married man, in fact, not even in love, who is sleeping with a married man, she has children, the married man does not have children. Maybe the man is actually trying to use her to make kids. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I think we lost the caller. For me, I think there's, there's, a, there's a game of chairs. This, this man is playing. We have a caller, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are good you calling evening, from? Hello, ma. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I can hear you. Go ahead. I'm not tired from the bad Okay, ma'am. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Okay, you, you said something. You said, um, as a married woman, if you know your husband is not giving it to you the way you want it, you should teach him, right? Yes. You won't teach Nigerian man. You just say you say you just classify you say you be a shewu. Where you go learn and from? Where do you learn it from before you want to teach him? Mm. So most times, um, you just keep things to yourself. Okay. Because let, you say you let, want to teach your husband. Let me respond to that question to when you. there's any issues. Like, hey, she be you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this. So you're teaching him now, start thinking maybe you're getting it somewhere or someone is teaching you somewhere. You know how Nigerian men behave now. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. So that's it. Thank you so Thank much you. for the contribution. Good night. But I want to correct the notion. This, this beautiful woman made a very important point. She said, if your husband is not good in bed, how do you teach him? The common Nigerian man, if you actually teach him, he might think you're sleeping around. Let me tell you something. We have Google. We have pornographic movie. I started watching porn from the age of 12. A lot of you started watching porn from the age of 10. The one that your husband is doing with you, and who taught you people? Did your mother sit you down and teach you about how to come together? I'm asking you. You know, eh, that's why I keep saying, marry your friend. When you marry your friends, eh, there are some things you do during sexual intercourse that. You don't even know what, you can't do it with everybody because it flows. There's this thing called connection. When you connect with people, your body language, you'll be free. It is not everybody that you give that part of you. So when you are marrying a man, you need to marry a man that is your friend, a man that is teachable. Once your man is not teachable or your woman is not teachable, then there is no marriage. The essence of coming together Saying, I want to bring a man, I want to bring a woman, so that we can unlearn and relearn. Come and teach me what you have learned. Come and teach me what you learned. We'll put it together and we can bring up our kids. It's only at a cake man that'll be asking, where did you learn it from? These days, there's Google. People like Blessing see you. I will teach you. There are lots of sex therapies. The world is global. You understand? It is better you are aware of it. Do you remember when we were growing up? My mother would tell us that if we go near man, we we'll carry belle. We near man, we don't carry belle until we begin to enter inside. Now, so we take carry belle. So we are quickly going to go on a break right now, and we're going to be back very soon on Momented Bless to see you. Don't change that dial. Just drink a little bit of water because now a bit to shake and now we carry the come back. See you guys soon, lovers. Hi guys, welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's still the same channel, channel 189, only on Pop Central DSTV, where you get all the juice, everything that happens behind closed doors, relationship, sex, and marriage. For those of you who are just coming in or who are just tuning in, we were deliberating on a story a woman sent to us, a married woman with kids who is in love with another married man. No be juju be that. So she's saying that the married man doesn't have kids yet and he wants them to travel like elope. The married woman wants to elope with the married man, leave her children and elope with the married man. So she's asking us if there are any consequences to her actions and we're waiting for your opinion. The number to call is right on your screen. And please, hey, Jingle. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. 
What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Mary, so I'm calling from Julia. Okay. Hello, good evening. I can barely hear you. Can you be audible? I said, my name is Miracle. I'm coming from Abba. Okay, Mirabel, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Okay. Can you talk down the volume of your TV, Mirabel? Uh, I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. We're still talking about the married woman who is sleeping with a married man. She's asking us if there is any consequences. For me, yes, there are consequences. I've said it in our last session. Once you're married, marriage is a sacred union. If you know you're not ready to be committed to people, just stay single. Marriage is not a place to just go and answer people's names. There are lots of work to do there. If you know you don't want to do forever with this person, you don't want to bring out the best in this person, let other women be. And do you know what is getting me angry? This man that you are holding down now, another woman will be ready to treat this man right. And that's one thing about you women. You are so greedy. Some of you have one, two, three, four boyfriends that you are keeping. You're not doing anything with them. Release them now. Release them so we can see them. No. You are dating five. You are dating six. Even married woman now. Another married man. I don't understand. Married woman now has too many. Her life. Where we single people were sleeping lowly on our bed. Have you now seen that it is not single women that is chasing married men? Even married women is even chasing married men. Man, these judgments, they go hard, though. It's going to be a really tough one. Because there are some certain things you get to hear and it, you cringe on to it. So like I said to the married woman, it's an abomination. She needs to stop that act. She needs to stop that act and focus on her marriage and her children. Any man that asks you to leave your husband's house is not a good man. Or maybe that man is trying to use you to do pregnancy tests since his wife is not able to give him a child. He wants, since you are mama children, I wonder how many children you have. He said you have two. Maybe he wants to give you belly to see if you can give birth for him. But I don't see any future with such man. Any man that asks you to leave your husband for him is not a real man. He's a coward. We have a caller. Hello? Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. So like I said, any, we have a caller. Any man that asks you to leave your marriage for him is not a good man. It's not a good man. You know, sometimes you get to rate people from the conversations you have with them. You get to know this man based on the conversations you have with them. You know, there's how a man talks about a woman. You should, you should know that this one is a no-no. Yes. If a man cannot treat other women right, he cannot treat you right. This thing is upbringing. This thing is imbued. So if this man can say, leave your husband, let us run away and your children, and he's a stupid man and an irresponsible man, trust me. We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? Yeah, my name is Fayala Nicholas. Okay. From my hospital. Okay, sir, you want to contribute to the show? Yeah, hello. Go ahead, sir, I can hear you. Yeah, uh... So there are many consequences. When, uh, number one, the person where the woman will lose her marriage first. Then secondly, the life of the children uh, is also a stake. Yeah, hello? I can hear you, so go ahead. Thank you. I think we lost the caller. I didn't really get what he was saying. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We need a lot of contributions for the woman. You know, it's always good sometimes when you hear from diverse people. It's not just from one person. So that's the reason why we need you to call, share your opinion. If you have had such experience before, or if you've had such fantasy before, you can share it with us. But for me... My own take is it's a no, no. Morally, no. Biblically, no. Culture-wise, no. You're a married woman. You should focus on your marriage and your husband and bring out the best in them. 
sleeping with another married man is just lost. Nothing but lost. And you know, sex is a very crazy thing. And this man that is telling, let us travel to South Africa. And once he carry this to South Africa now, give you belly, he will use you and he's going to dump you. So run from a married man that is telling you to leave your marriage and follow him. That's not a good man. That's a gigolo, to the best of my knowledge. Because a sensible man is going to be saying, what if this was me? What if somebody wants to elope with his own wife? So I would say, no, that's an irresponsible act. If you're a woman and you are this person, because sometimes when we bring up stories like this, it relates to a lot of people. Please stop it. It's disgusting. It brings bad luck. And that's the reason why many of you women can never see any good in your husband or your boyfriend. It's because you are everywhere. We are outside. We are outside. What are you doing outside? Mosquito is outside. Enter inside. You have boyfriend, you have husband. Every time you are outside, you are outside. Marriage, go inside and learn yourself. Bond with your partner, bond with your children. You know, like outside, you are outside. Oh, yeah, remain single. No, every time you are in church, rapper, say, okay, ba, 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 ba. They're giving you the husband. Stay now. You man, no, no, fool, be married but living single. Huh? It's, it's becoming terrible in this society and it's becoming very annoying. The fact that you guys pretend like you are good and the moment you get married, you become wayward. No, if you want to do your waywardness, it's even forgivable when you do it when you're single. Once you're married, that's a sacred place. You have made marriage look like a joke. Like, even if in those days when marriage good, you're hungry, you're born now, eh? If you think about the things that we read, just like stories like this, we have phobia. You know, even people that want to get married, we start to have trust issues. That's where all these DNA things get to come out. So feel free to call the number right on the screen if you have something you want to contribute to the woman. <clears throat> we have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Okay. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Amber. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay. Please, do you want to share your opinion? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay. I'm married with okay. kids. I don't know, like, somebody has not said what I really want to hear. So I feel like let me hold. Okay. So my husband had it. I don't know how to put it, but he had a girl he was dating, and I find out. And then he pleaded with, oh, I know this can be heartbroken, but that period, that this was 2023. After all the begging and everything, I cleaned my tears, like I forgive. The next thing I heard that the girl is pregnant. I see that one is not enough. It was broken for me. The next thing he now told me that the girl want him to go and meet the family, her people. I said, okay, fine. With everything that is going on, the next thing he rented a house, apartment for her and her, and her child. Having said that, in as much as I was so broken, but I'm just, in my mind, I'm just pretending I'm happy, but I'm not happy. But when all this thing was going on, I have a friend that is like, okay, what are you doing? He did this to you. You can as well do your own. But I look at my children, I look at myself, I was like, this is not a, this is not a deal for me. I'm still in my marriage. I'm still in my husband's house. There is that girl outside that with her child too. But now, like you said, I, there was something you said. A man that will not treat his wife light can never treat anybody. Like the world, like my husband and that girl, whatever they are having right now, I don't even know how their issue is right now. To the extent that the girl called me one time, I don't even know what she was complaining about. I'm the one that sent money to her. But before I sent the money to her, I told her, a man that doesn't respect me, do you think it's you that he will respect? When you have 
doing whatever you are doing with him, like the world was how is how are you seeing the world? I don't even know what you are I don't even know how you are seeing me. Maybe you'll be seeing me as a bad person now. I'm the one you are calling to complain of a baby this or baby that. I still send money to her. I called my husband, I screenshotted it. Oga, I send money to your pin. Give me my money back. He was like, eh? I said, I beg, give me my money back. And I said, why did she call me? I don't even want to give her the money. I asked her for DNA. I said, you are mad. You are stupid. Give me my money first before you are asking for your DNA. You bring this thing to my house. You give me the heart broken. But at that point, when all this thing was going on, I didn't even... Even, like, I remember when a friend of mine was telling me I should leave my husband and I should come to him. My dear, what I really want to contribute in all this and to every lady hearing me tonight, all men are the same. Unless, maybe, I don't, like me, I can't even say if I'm falling out of love or I'm just there. I can't tell, but I'm just there. But maybe in the day that I decide I don't want this marriage anymore, the best and the best is go through divorce, leave the marriage. But being in the marriage, I have my children and I'll be sleeping around. I can't do that to my kids. It's not even like, uh, is it good or bad? You know, lady, like, I can't even bring myself to do that to my children. Because any woman that will do that is a very horrible woman. Any woman that will even sleep outside the man, even though your husband is doing you the same thing, it does, it's not even enough reason for you to because I understand it can hurt, my husband hurt me so bad, and at the end of the day, I'm the one sending money to baby mama that they are planning, even know if they are going to marry the again or not but I heard they have went to the girl side to collect list or something. Okay, now the girl is going through what I'm going through. Or that self is still not at home. He's still not with the girl. He's still outside. Probably he's looking for another person to come and join us. Uh, to come and join us. Do you understand? So I don't know. He must be Solomon and the concubine. This is why a woman should just like start sleeping around or even went back to a married man to get so I don't know that's what I only want to contribute Thank you so much, it's man. not good because that married man trust me like I don't know but let me put it like this that married man eh, the woman is doing that or trying to run away to South Africa too it's the same thing that the, my husband is doing with me with the side chick is what the man will be doing with the wife exactly. of that woman. Maybe when he went home, he'll be sending another two to his wife. And you, you are there destroying your home and your children. Ah, no, no. No, no, no. no. That's what I really want to contribute. Thank All men are so much, My man. husband is really worse, but I'm still here. I'm taking care of him and baby mama that will still call me tomorrow. God bless you so much. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you, darling. This was a very interesting conversation. I was a bit emotional. Oh, wow, this woman has a heart of gold. Did you hear what she said? Her husband cheated, apologized, impregnated somebody, rented a house for the side chick and the child. And now, side chick and husband, not the girl. Now, there's something they used to say in the old days. The care where they use first, flog first wife. Then they keep on for back of the door for the second one. I will repeat. If you want to know a good man, watch how he treats his wife. Watch her. When you are with that married man that you see that his wife is calling him, you hear, come watch, come watch, run. There is no man that will regard you that cannot regard his wife. This thing even starts from childhood. Even their you know, this is where some men talk to their mothers. Some men do not have regard for women. So don't ever think that there is something special about you. Uh, maybe because, no. When a man is pursuing a woman, he will do anything to get her. Once he has entered inside the abito shaker and he has shaken everything inside there, his real color will come out. So as for women and side chicks and whatever, if you're making those decisions, trust me, 
you will still feel what the wife is feeling. Because the truth is, many side chicks do not understand this because these men do not stay with them for a long time. They rent you an apartment, come and visit, come and go. You get to see the better part of them. Live with that man for four months. He will knock you two by two on your neck. In fact, there are some women that you're going to give kudos to. If you're a side chick out there and you see what a lot of women go through, do you know that that man that you are admiring every, that fine married man, it is a woman that puts him together. There's a boyfriend I used to have. I select his clothes for him, wear this, wear this, wear that. But when you see him outside, inside his car, it is so, a woman that puts a man together. All these rich men, Obi Kubana, Kubana, whatever, Dangote, is a woman there building. You are just seeing the show glass. You are just seeing the meat pie in the show glass. But you don't know what it took to bake that meat pie. If you bread, this ordinary bread, you are shouting, give me three bread. Give me four bread. If bread should tell you what it goes through in the oven, before it comes out very smooth in that show glass, if you are eating bread, you eat bread with respect. So that's one thing a lot of young girls need to understand. This posh married man, there is a woman putting him together. There's a woman tolerating his bullshit. There's a woman that gathers his clothes and takes him to dry cleaner. There's a woman that accolades to the wives out there. So if I see a married man that disrespects his wife, that's my principle. I don't do married men. Once you disrespect your wife, it's for me, it's a no. Don't disrespect your wife to impress me. All these stupid married men, when they see small girls, they will remove their wedding ring. That is the height of stupidity. You will see a small girl of how many years and take out your wedding ring. Like, why? Because of fuck, because of knack. Kwekus, wait there everywhere. If you go outside now, Kwekus, Allen Avenue, Kwekus, Admiralty, Kwekus, 2K, 5K, you can even price one, two. These days, since I speak, 500, they go give you sharp, sharp, sharp. So that should not be worth losing. You know, marriage is not even about sex. There's just so many things. What everybody's looking for in a marriage is companionship. That thing is hard to find. Companionship is not having people around you. Sometimes you can have plenty of people around you, yet you are very lonely. Companionship is that person that understands you, that can speak to you. Even when you say, baby, I'm fine, the person knows that you're not fine. So that's what marriage is about. So feel free to also call the number right on the screen to contribute if you have something to say. Um, an advice to a woman. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Please, could you turn the volume of your television so I can hear you? Hello. Turn down the volume of your TV, please. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. If you don't turn down the volume of your TV, it'll be very difficult for me to hear you out. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Hello. How are you? I can hear you loud and clear. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, my name is Colin. Can you be allowed? Can you be audible? My name is Okay. What do you want to contribute to the social? Um, I'm can you be audible? We can barely hear you. My name is Colin. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, can you hear? Loud and clear. Okay, I think we lost a caller. When you're calling, please turn down the volume of your television. It could be quite frustrating when I'm struggling here to hear you. The number to call is right on your screen. We are still talking about a married woman who is in love with a married man. So we need your opinion, the married people in the house. A lot of men have been trying to speak, but I think the network is um, jamming. The calls are jamming. So feel free to call the number right on your screen to contribute. I think we have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello? Good evening, Ma. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. 
turn down the volume of your yes. TV, guys. I want to ask a question. Go ahead. I want to ask a question. Go ahead, please. Is your young stuck? Is your young stuck? Is my what? I think we lost the caller. It's two moments with blessings. See your channel 189 only on Pop Central. We're still talking about the married woman who is dating the married man. And we're still trying to bring out the consequences of what she's doing. In as much as we have Christianity these days and we can always run to Jesus Christ anytime we sin, there are repercussions. Yes, there are penalties. There is no sin that goes unpunished. So sometimes you need to be careful, keep your hands clean, live a good life. If you know that you're not ready to settle down, it's okay to be fornicating. You didn't do fornication is wrong, but it's better you fornicate than be an adulteress. So we're going to be right back as we go on this break. See you guys soon. Hi guys, you're welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's still channel 189 Pop Central on DSTV. We see they talk about the married woman where they sleep with another married man. That's what you're deliberating on right now. If you're just tuning in, we have a married woman in the building who says she's in love with another married man. She has children and the married man wants them to elope. Right now, we are dissecting the matter. We are turning it. We are shaking it. We are bringing too many powers to see how we can bring out this woman from the midst of this darkness. We've had lots of callers call to condemn the action. But I'm also going to bring it out from this perspective also before we get our callers. Do you think that women just wake up and just start to sleep around? Don't you think that there is something that is lacking? Do you talk to your spouses? Or are you those kind of people that will just wake up and back, back yourself? I think this is where all this cheating starts from. Because there's one thing about cheating people don't understand. You don't just sleep into a man's bed or sleep into a woman's bed. It starts from communication. Hi, hi. You people start to chat, start to spend time together. You start to delete WhatsApp messages. The next time you guys are hanging out, the next time you guys are having sex. That's how it starts. So I always tell people, do not spend an evening where you know you're not going to spend the night. That thing that you know that you will not finish, don't start it. So women, that is just it because we're emotional beings. And this thing always happens most times, probably when you are having misunderstanding with your husband. One old time friend will just tell you hi on Instagram. He say, well, hi. From there, you're getting carried away. The person is just seeing you. I know there's this thing about first time relationship. Once you're in a relationship for the first time, it will shock you. You go to saying I love. Oh, this is love. It's not love. It's lost. The real meaning of love is when you have gone through the hurdles of life and still stand strong and say, I want to be with you. If life has not tested you, then you are not in love. You're not an opportunist. Let life test you and you still see the good things of life. Do you know the meaning of love? I saw every beautiful thing and I chose you. Love is about contentment. It's not like you did not see a richer man or a finer man. But I love you. I'm content with you. And when you're content with somebody, it simply means you want to bring out the best in that person. But when you're not content, you'll be looking for your husband in every man. That is how your body counts will get to 100. So I'm going to tell every married woman out there, if you know you want to get married, for whatever reason, focus. Sleeping around is not going to change anything. That's the truth. And the fact is the men are getting wiser these days. They are not going for DNA. It's not that time you will just born and go and have the king. So if you walk out your kuru waka, men are not carrying their children for DNA because you won't want to make So I'm going to urge the woman to please stop that act. It's not something to be proud of. It's not something to even talk about. Let's just end this conversation on the show and let's hope that you become a better woman and repent from your sin. I did not say you should go and confess to your husband. Go to God and confess. He's the only one that can forgive. Your husband is a human being. He will judge you and he will throw you out. So first of all, forgive yourself. Break all the tiles you have with the married man and focus on your marriage. 
and bring out the best in it. We still have the phone number right here on our screen if you want to call, you know, to contribute to the conversation. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Scott from Lagos. Okay, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Um, I don't know. I've been single for like a year now. Hello? Go ahead, sir. I, I've been single for a year now. You've been doing what? I've been single for a year now. You've been faithful? I've been single. Okay, you've been single. Okay. Um, so, like, uh, the problem is, I don't know the exact problem for me and the girl. So, like, I'm watching this this thing, and I don't I wanted to ask you have a boyfriend. Hello? I can barely hear you. The only thing I heard was when you said you've been single. I didn't get the other stuff. Did we lose the caller? So please, when you call, try as much as possible to be audible so that I can hear you. Feel free to call the number right on the screen. If you want to contribute to the show, it's still Moments of Blessings CEO Channel 189 um, DSTV. Like I said, and like every other caller have said, if you're married, marriage is a sacred place. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. What's Good your name and where you call. calling from? How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name and where you calling from? What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kingsley. Okay, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Yes, I want to contribute to the show. Um, I have a question to ask you, please. Go ahead. That's the caller. I would have loved to answer that question that um you wanted to ask me. So please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. Okay? Turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. We are still talking about a married woman who is sleeping with a married man, and we've been getting different opinions. And like I said, for a married woman to go about sleeping with a married man, I think there is lack of communication. Hello? Uh, uh, I want to, Good evening. I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Can I talk you? Can you do what? What did he say? Okay, like I said, um, we are still talking about the married woman who is cheating with the married man. And we've got some couple of callers who have told us that is wrong. We know it is wrong. We're not here to judge the beautiful woman. We're just here to tell her that it's time to stop Take all the sins to God and apologize and go build your home. There's no better man out there. A caller just said it's all men are the same. If you go to Sokoto, you go to Shokoto. It's just how you manage your home. You understand? So I don't think it's something you should sleep around about because you won't be able to, you know, live with your conscience. Once you start to sleep around, trust me, you will never have peace. You will never have peace peace. You always think that is that thing that you're doing that is chasing you. 
So as for married people, please, 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 let's keep this beautiful, sacred marriage God has given us. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Okay, like, please. Um, name is Fevo. Good evening, sir. Um, like, I think that my wife is cheating. You think that your wife is cheating? Yeah. Why do you think so? Because we need to come back and eat. I can barely um, hear you. If I should ask, give me like no sense reason. Cause now I don't know what to do. Like I don't think I'm not right. or what to do to this issue. Hello. I can barely hear you. Like, I think when you're calling, guys, turn down the volume of your TV if you want to talk. So, for me and the story, the story is something that reckon with a lot of women. Most Lagos, Abuja, put her cut. You see a lot of married women sleeping around with married men. I feel it's enough. The funniest part is that you guys are generalizing it. It's not looking as if every one of us are the same. No. Women, let us learn to communicate with our men. Before you marry these men, you should know. I know some of you are going into marriage for different reasons, but you should be able to know the man that you married. Because, you know, so that we don't keep having stories like this. In your old age now, when you some certain repercussions begin to come, it's because of the kind of life that you have lived. So sometimes we live our life for posterity, for legacy. That is it. But when you keep living all this wayward life, how do you want to advise your own daughter? So I think self-control is the key. Let's learn to control ourselves, our body. It is our body. You can say, no, I don't want to do this. Learn to be principled. Learn to be guided. Learn to have boundaries. That's what makes you a strong and a powerful woman. Until I see you next time, next station, channel 189, every 10 p.m. It's always moments of blessing. See you only on Pop Central. I love you guys and see you guys next time. Mwah.